The Pacific Crest National Scenic Trail, known as the PCT, is a long-distance hiking and horseback riding trail. It is the second longest trail in America at 2,650 miles, stretching from the US-Mexico border to the US-Canada border, through California, Oregon and Washington. Hiking the Pacific Crest Trail is a life-changing and rewarding experience. Thousands of individuals attempt to hike the PCT from beginning to end every year, but only a little more than half succeed. Hikers who are up for a challenge can take the high route across the Sierra Nevada and Cascade Ranges and see some of America's most beautiful and varied landscapes along the way, from scorching deserts to snowy mountains. There are 30 sections total, with 18 in California, 7 in Oregon and 5 in Washington. Out of these sections, here are some of the best ones you should definitely check out if you decide to hike the PCT. Mount Laguna, Southern California. Mount Laguna is located about 40 miles from the Pacific Crest Trail starting point at the desolate international border between Mexico and the USA. You will all of a sudden look up and see pine trees and pine cones the size of your head. The next thing you know, you're walking on a ridge above the rest of the world, looking out over an unending expanse of the Anza Borrego Desert. Make sure to camp on the ridge while you're there, to experience the impeccable beauty of the stars and the sunset. This will give you a good idea of what the PCT has to offer. San Jacinto Peak, Southern California The beauty of the Pacific Crest Trail's desert portion is not particularly hyped, but it should. There are desert landscapes in other nearby locations, like Joshua Tree, that are very captivating. But if you want to hike a section of the PCT and SoCal is your only option, or if it is later in the fall and the weather is too frosty up north, this is one of the most beautiful places. The most popular route is to hike to the peak of Mount San Jacinto from Edelwald, where there are also campgrounds. The state park has reopened since the summer fires, but for the most up-to-date information, visit its Facebook page. Day-use wilderness permits are available in Edelwald, but overnight permits must be applied for at least 10 days in advance. The round-trip route, which includes a stretch of the PCT, is under 20 miles, and can be completed in a few days. It's ideal for a long weekend, because of the breathtaking views it offers from the summit, which has desert on one side and forests on the other. Just keep in mind that Mount San Jacinto rises to a height of 10,834 feet, meaning that even in Southern California, the temperature can drop there. The Sierra Nevada, Central California. Little oases of paradise can be found along the Pacific Crest Trail through the Sierras. Over and over, the Grand Meadows, Alpine Lakes and peculiar rocky peaks create dreamlike landscapes. Bishop Pass is located just off the PCT, but it is one of the most impressive passes you will ever hike. Bishop Pass is one of the side trails that people take to get off the mountain and into town for supplies. If you start your hike early in the morning, you will see a spectacular alpen glow over the granite walls that surround the pass. The John Muir Trail, which spans 221 beautiful miles through Yosemite, Kings Canyon and Sequoia National Parks to Mount Whitney, is arguably the most well-known segment of the Pacific Crest Trail. Most hikers devote three weeks for this endeavor, but if your schedule is more tight, you might want to explore the Ray Lakes Loop for a weekend expedition or the Tuolumne Meadows to Devil's Postpile Loop for five to six days. Ray Lakes Loop is best done in the fall because summer can be congested with people applying for wilderness permits. Just keep in mind that Glen Pass is at an elevation of around 12,000 feet, so the earlier in the fall, the better. With just under nine miles, Sonora Pass is a popular day track that is simple to reach from both Reno and the Bay Area. With a height of 9,624 feet, it is the second highest pass in the Sierra Nevada and is home to beautiful alpine lakes, meadows and a wide variety of animals. Sky Lakes Wilderness, Central Oregon 
This region, which is home to numerous glacial lakes and breathtaking views of the Cascade Mountains, from Mount Hood to Mount McLaughlin, is traversed by the PCT for over 29 miles. It is a well-liked hiking destination for locals, tourists and families, because it is close to Crater Lake. Less than two hours separate Ashland or Medford in southern Oregon from where it is accessible off of Highway 140. More stunning views can be found by branching off the main PCT track. The 8.5 mile round trip climb to the summit of Mount McLaughlin is one of the most well-liked hikes in this area. Those looking for the best of both worlds, the PCT and Crater Lake, can take advantage of the PCT Alternate South and PCT Alternate North trails, which provide stunning views of the lake from its west rim. By the way, if you want to know more about the West Coast's national parks, watch this video featuring the 9 best of them. Mount Adams to Mount Rainier, South Central Washington Section H of the Pacific Crest Trail extends for 147.5 miles from the Bridge of the Gods in the Columbia River Gorge, on the boundary of Oregon and Washington states, to White Pass at Mount Rainier in the heart of Washington. This section of the trail hugs Mount Adams Base and Mindus through Goat Rocks Wilderness, which is a longtime favorite among hikers, boasting crystal clear lakes to flower filled meadows, dizzying edges, and 360 degree views. The section comes to an end just south of Mount Rainier, the 14,411 foot tall jewel of the Cascades. Any point along this trail is a good one for planning a shorter hike, as loops are accessible from the many forest roads. Snowgrass Flats is one of the trail's more well-traveled portions because of its proximity to Goat Rocks, which many consider the Pacific Crest Trail's most gorgeous location. The Snowgrass Flats is a three-hour drive from either Seattle or Portland. North Cascades, North Central Washington This section of the PCT serves as the last stop for hikers who complete the entire trail. Thanks to the North Cascades' rugged peaks and deep valleys, it is regarded as one of the PCT's most visually striking sections. A more extreme landscape replaces the Central Cascade's verdant, forested hills here. While there are several well-known and crowded loop tracks from Snoqualmie Pass North, this is a fantastic place to attempt the thru-hike on the PCT. If you can arrange for someone to pick you up, it's not a long drive from Seattle, consider Harts Pass to Rainy Pass, a 30-mile bite of the PCT. If you have more time, try Section J of the Pacific Crest Trail, a strenuous 75-mile route with an elevation gain of more than 16,000 feet, which stretches from Snoqualmie Pass to Stevens Pass. If you're planning your first multi-day expedition onto the PCT, it's a relatively safe bet, because you'll probably see other hikers on this trail as you pass lakes and rugged peaks. There you have it. So what do you think? Would you be hiking the Pacific Crest Trail? Let us know down in the comments section. Also, if you want to see more beautiful nature, watch our playlist featuring California's nature.